What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, we are taking advantage of a rainy day down here while we're in Florida to do a little upgrade to the look of the bathroom. Um, we picked up some peel and stick wallpaper on Amazon. Some stuff that uh, has some pretty good reviews. So people seem to be very happy with it. Seems to, seem to stick good for people. So we went ahead and grabbed some of that. Would look and we'll leave a link to the one that we picked on Amazon so we've never really done anything to, to really change the look of our RV at all since we've had it uh, we've pretty much been rolling with it as is but uh, just want to change it up a little bit we've seen some posts from other people that did it and it made kind of a difference just spruce it up a little bit give a give a different look so uh, we're gonna try to tackle that um, you know I'm, I'm pretty good mechanically pretty mechanically inclined can take care of all that stuff but uh i don't know as far as peel and stick wallpaper goes it's going to be a new area so i'm sure it's going to test my patience a little bit have patience and we picked up some tools that's supposed to make it a little bit easier while we we're also on amazon um it was a little pack that came with a little tape measure the smoother to smooth it out or two smoothers yeah squeegee smoother <laughs> and to cut the wallpaper so yeah the pack comes with pretty much every, all your um, all the necessary tools that you need to smooth the wallpaper uh, to cut it a uh, little exacto knife so you can make those fine cuts when you get done so uh, all right we're gonna start right here behind uh, behind the toilet right now that's kind of a nice big flat surface probably a good place to kind of check it out and, and see how how it is to work with uh, we've got everything taken taken off the walls we've taken all our uh, towel holders down and everything back there so uh, we've got everything off the walls yep after we get everything off the walls we wipe the walls down just with water and a cloth just to make sure there's no dust or dirt or anything like that to help the wallpaper stick better all right let's get to it time to measure and we're going to pre-cut them so when we bring them back in here it makes it a little easier yeah, easy. All right, so we're about 90% of the way through the project. Um, and man, this stuff was a little tough to get the hang of working with, but you can see the results behind us. I mean, uh, we're really, really happy with it. Uh, looks, It looks very, very nice in here now. Uh, big difference from the, from the plain walls that we had in here before, so very, very happy with it. Um, but you know there are definitely a few 
spots that have some imperfections, but we're the only ones that can see them, I'm sure. So, um, man. Yeah, I don't think it was as um, as quick of a process as we thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's taken us quite a while to get to this point. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're just uh, not very good at it, <laughs> but um, it was much more difficult than it looked like in every other video that we've seen. Um, I will say though, once we got those first couple pieces down, you know, once you start kind of getting the hang of uh, smoothing it out, um, but you know, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. Uh, but it is it is kind of time consuming. But the end result is pretty nice. Um, I will say for us, we found it easier to go sideways with it. So. Um, a lot of the videos we watched, people were going from top to bottom, and you know, and that maybe that maybe that is the best way to do it. We tried to do it in the first couple pieces, going from top to bottom, and um, it we were getting a lot of a lot of wrinkles in it. Um, so we didn't, you know, we scratched that, and um, we tried going from like basically for us, we went from left to right with it. Uh, and I guess if you have you know if you have an extra set of hands there to help kind of hold it out while you're putting it up, then that might be a, an easier way uh, so yeah, speaking of extra hands people that do it by themselves you know good job to them yeah you're <laughs> awesome you're awesome you are a very skilled individual it definitely seemed like a two-person job to us I mean he did more of the measuring and the cutting but I was helping him hold it so that it didn't try to stick to the wall before he was ready for it to stick to the wall so. yeah yeah it's um it can you know and once it wrinkles I mean you're kind of done I mean that wrinkles not really gonna come out so um, we didn't end up having quite enough to finish so we have a little spot down behind the toilet and uh, we've got our little spot over here around our uh, around our closet in, in the bathroom that we didn't quite have enough to finish but uh, we got like like I said we got like 90 I don't know 95 percent of it probably done but uh, yeah I mean you know not not super difficult once you get the hang of it but definitely time consuming for sure and if it doesn't work at first, you know, don't get frustrated. Peel it right back off and cut you another piece. And if you need to order some more, you know, Amazon, you can usually have it within a couple days. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's inexpensive enough to where if you mess up some of it and have to order another roll, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's not, it's not like this stuff's super expensive. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it holds up. Um, it seems to be sticking really, really well right now. Um, we did have a couple of spots that we had to go back and use a little bit of cleaner on the walls. They're like... The walls, they look clean and, and everything, but they had maybe like some dust particles on them or something because we went to apply it and it wasn't really sticking very good and when we pulled it off, there was some dust, like some dust particles stuck to the back of it. And that was mostly um, down, you know, low, when I mean, we got down lower by the floor. So uh, we took some cleaner and wiped the walls down really good and that, uh, and that seemed to take care of it and stuck fine after that. But as far as the other parts, we just wiped it down with water and it stuck really well. So. Yeah, so there it is. Um, if you think about doing some peel and stick wallpaper, you know, go for it. It's a uh, it's a nice all day project for you. If you have any questions about anything that we did here or uh, something that we didn't cover, um, you know, feel free to ask. We'll we'll answer it if we can for sure. And uh, we'll also leave a link in the description uh, to the wallpaper that we used uh, and the uh, the toolkit that we ordered off Amazon. It? I think that's it. Alright. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you guys down the road.